Hi everyone, so this is the last part of uh, this Prometheus, Grafana and Nest.js series. So we are going to update the Nest.js code. We are going to use this prompt client library, which should be able to push the, the matrix to the Prometheus. Okay. And then we will, we will, we should be able to see uh, these uh, matrices populated in the Grafana and we should be able to see the results in the Grafana dashboards. For the next JS, there is uh, this particular module we can use and what we need to do for using this a very basic thing. I mean, this is same as any other library. So these are the two different dependencies you need to add. And after that, Prometheus module dot register. Same as any other module we do in the next JS. And this is the path you need to specify. And in the Prometheus target, we have already specified matrices. So we will just use this endpoint. And default matrix enabled false. We can specify the whole configuration also. And here we are going to specify the providers. I mean, this is just like example is also provided by this library, which is a make country provider so matrix name. And then this matrix name can be passed into service. So these are the two providers, default providers provided by this prom client Prometheus module and make counter provider. And once this provider is registered in the module, you can inject that provider inside your inside your service. Like inject matrix, matrix name. This is the injector. And using this, I should be able to do a couple of things. So this is our code look like. No rocket science. It's like the same I copied from example. Prometheus module dot register. Here using this prom client library. So here Prometheus module, it is imported from this Nestius Prometheus. And these are the two providers make counter provider. I have added in the providers. And these are the matrix names count and the gauge. These are the two matrices I am going to push. And then I wrote a uh, one uh, matrix middleware. So you can see here. I have created this custom matrix middleware and it is applied for all the routes in the Nest.js. That means all the requests are coming in Should be able to use this middleware. And this middleware is saying is if you look into this code because this code is nothing I have written provided in the example. Okay. We have, like same as services. These, these are already added in the provider. So we can inject them inside a constructor of a middleware. I have a app counter and app gauge. And here I am just customizing the name help because these are the same names you will get inside a matrix and you read it for, through the Grafana. And here this what we are doing is we are writing the middleware. So we need to uh, have a use method. I think it is setting the counter value. So counter it is increasing app is dot counter. So it is specifying these methods. It is setting some labels, right? Increasing the custom counter and the gauge. Custom counter it has increasing. So custom gauge which contains okay what is the URL you are hitting and how much time it took. That is the, the use of this. Whenever the request is finished, we need to check the end time. This is the start time. Get the duration start end time minus start time and set the inside set that inside this label. And this is the custom error counter. If there is some error happens. Increment the error counter when custom error counter when there is error occurred. Okay. These are like a way to just collect the metrics. And here we are just increasing the app gauge. This is already provided in the example like what it is. So we will first uh, run the Nest.js application through Docker and we will see what this matrix contains. Our Docker containers are already running. What we can do is we can just go and spin up the containers. So con I mean, containers are up and running, so we can just go to localhost 30100, right? Here, if I. This is 9090903000 app. Application is on 30100. So this is my application. Here you can see the matrix endpoint, the same endpoint which I have specified here in the targets. Okay, now why will be just doing a couple of things if I just go and hit this matrix endpoint. Okay, it is giving me some analytics. 
because uh, this matrix it is reading from the persistent because I also I already hit lots of API request so it has collected all these matrices heap uh, heap space size total node js heap space size used by it and then garbage allocation and then app duration matrix is there app error matrix is there and it is just logging only the matrix endpoint which I think which I need to fix because we need to collect the matrix from all the endpoints which we have like let's say if I'm hitting this let's see if it work out it is working it's good so I'm hitting lots of these endpoints and I'm hitting the other endpoints also many times so we should be able to generate some matrix out of it restaurant we can also do create getting yes and then I will go and see the matrix so here we can see the matrix now I can see okay there are lots of methods popping up this is the restaurant post this is the restaurant search get is the restaurant uh, all the restaurant and this is the matrix endpoint okay, I think this information should be enough to process the more matrix data we can just IDs get request also we can get here you can see these are the app error matrix now let's try to see this uh, in the Grafana so what do we need to do in the Grafana we need to set a data source so you can just add a new data source here Prometheus just pass the Prometheus and its port because it's container to container communication this container doesn't know local host 9090 it knows Prometheus 9090 so here also I have done the same thing even if you can see Prometheus 9090 so this is the data source you can just do the test also it works it is connected so we are good now we can you can start creating the dashboards and see if you are able to collect those metrics or not so I will just create a new dashboard add visualization this Prometheus is the data source default and here because I'm kind of a new to this uh, Grafana I will just use this media browser and here I can see those metrics pop populated right app duration matrix and I can just use this query and you can see what all different endpoints we are hitting so there are lots of endpoints yes we are hitting restaurant restaurant search restaurant by id and the matrix these endpoints are collected here we can also set the target like okay i give me the last five minutes give me the 15 minute data right so this is what the information i mean uh, i'm I, i'm not setting the coordinates the right way but i'm just trying to extract the app duration matrix and just customize it overall this is how i can get the matrix i can just start uh, doing some other also count very okay this is the count and i can see that the get matrix these are the count for the another api which is restaurant search these are the count and for another api which is restaurant by uuid so this is the count right this is the count matrix which is showing the overall count of these particular apis in last 15 minutes so we are able to do the real time analytics or real time monitoring of what all different apis which are hitting our microservice there there are more we can just try to do the gaze use this query and this is the gauge like the counter just nothing but a simple counter because we are increasing the counter whenever there is a request is hitting so it's like overall we are trying to analyze the counter and you can just keep creating these uh, charts or these panels and keep saving them not like so you can have the overall overview of all the charts created and you can create a the whole dashboard with all these different panels because this is a custom panel you just save it and i think that the save method or apply stop
let me just see okay i'm editing the custom panel right now but this is how the the dashboards looks like and i can also try a couple of more so memory allocation node just active handles request total event loop lag if i want to see what is the event loop lag executing so this is the really nice uh, visualization of event loop lag like whenever the requests are hitting what is the lag in the event loop similarly you can also populate couple of more node js cpu seconds so okay, heap size available bytes or used byte i mean how much heap size has been used so this graph looks like that here we can also create a uh, new dashboards and there is one cool thing about a new dashboard you can also import a dashboard right what import dashboard means is here you can search okay i want a node exporter or simply node.js something to do with the node.js right so matrix the node.js matrix and here i can just copy the copy id to clipboard and here import dashboard i will just paste this thing here it will load through the network and it will say okay it will just folder inside our dashboards we are selecting the prometheus this is the id node this matrix i will just choose the 24th and it will import right so this is my a simple dashboard looks like right now we'll try to jump this one directly and i can see some data already populated and how this data already populated because it is looking into this data source right and it has populated this uh, matrix for me we can also go into the panel and we'll try to see event loop lag let's say i've just to the edit panel and it is using this same matrix right node js event loop lag second and the same matrix has been pushed to that matrix endpoint now let's say heap size external memory availability used bytes process memory i mean these all these metrics has already been pushed and we are able to get this nice and clean dashboard right impressive so this is how we are doing it this is how you can get the i mean i didn't configure all these dashboards what i'm using is just a dashboard id from the refana dashboards and i i can just use it it is using the same prom client right and prom client li same library we are using to push the metrics and the same set of uh, it is using from here all process start time with yes this is 7 hours and you to worry about things here you can also add a new visualization if you want okay i want to add count one another matrix that we have already is the count right and you wanted to use this so so here i will just say add this as a counter save and apply so you will see this counter matrix somewhere in the bottom it is active handles okay this is the counter i have added right so similarly you can add a new visualization and here i will say requests okay and this is media browser app duration matrix we can have and this is the duration matrix we have for last 15 minute and we can just save it i mean it's not that useful i guess i think the visualization part but you can also add a custom visualization where you can also check the matrix and all i want to add a custom matrix that is okay app error app duration matrix and inside this there are multiple attributes in this error matrix like if there are any failure app method okay it is just fetching up all the data 
but you can also customize it i mean you need to be a little expertise in uh, this prompt ql this is how we are configuring the library and this is my dashboard looks like it's uh, this is what is the outcome of our last four videos uh, setting up all these docker on the docker containers uh, setting up the nestjs application which can push the metrics onto this endpoint and then uh, and then this setting up the grafana which reads the data using this from ql queries from the prometheus and we can see this active handles all these different set of matrices which is actually giving us the real time monitoring on this particular microservice so that's all uh, all about all these things uh, thanks everyone thanks for watching